There are two essentials in doing portraits. One is that it has to be a likeness of the person that you're painting. And secondly, it needs to have intrinsic value as a work of art. Um, it, it has to have the aesthetic qualities that make it something wonderful and beautiful. Um, beware of um, listening to people say, you must always do this and never do that. As soon as somebody tells me rules like that, um, I, my eyebrow begins to go up and I start thinking, oh, I wonder if why that is and I wonder if I could get away with <laughs> breaking that rule. Um, so I, I'm not very doctrinaire and um, I'm going to show you how I work and see if that is helpful to you. Um, and if it is, then you may incorporate it into your own style and your own way of working in the ways that are comfortable for you. One of the best tools that an artist has, and is very inexpensive, is to squint down. And by squinting down, I don't mean closing one eye and looking through the other eye. I mean um, squinting down to the point where you're letting very little light in. And it's to the point where you don't see any details at all. And that will give you the large shadow pattern the dark and light pattern. And uh, that's the, the um, foundation of your, your work. Now, as I'm working my way down here, I'm feeling like this ball of the nose needs to come down here farther. And I, that will help because I had, I think, too much space between here and here. So just bringing this down helps to modify that. And let's see where the nostril will be. The nostril will be right about there. And now this begins to look a little bit more like him, I think. While I have this rosy color, I'm going to put it right in here on the top of his upper lip. And then I might just as well go with more of that on the lower lip. Let's see. Hmm, not bad. I don't want to do a lot of fussiness down in here. Um, but there's got to be a body under here. And Clothing is the same um, issue as anything else in the portrait. It, it is three-dimensional. So it has shadow and light and um, bounced light, reflected light, and highlight, and all the values that anything else in the painting has. So that's part of having to um, think about things that have volume.